Welcome back inside Nationwide Arena and a special guest joining us now. Some hockey history is Mr. Alton White joins us. You played with the Columbus Checkers here in the late 60s, in the early stages of hockey in Columbus. You haven't been here in more than 50 years. I'm wondering what your first impression was when you got back into town. I thought I was in a strange city. <laughs> nothing is the same. Nothing. I can't remember a thing. Uh, the only thing that I did remember was we went by the old barn where we used to play. The fairgrounds. And a few of the other spots up because we used to live by the university. So some of the old places we lived, uh, Jeff took us by there today. But other, other than that, just about everything is new. You dropped the puck here tonight pregame and have been honored as, as a trailblazer for the game and for players of color. What does your place in hockey history and in Columbus hockey history mean to you? Well, it means a lot because uh, I, I, I was the first, like you said, to play in Columbus, the first to play in, in Providence in the American League. So I, I let a lot of people... Uh, I, I thought I opened a few doors for a lot of guys uh, to, to follow me because I followed Willie and, and Stan Maxwell. So uh, I was just uh, third in line there. So the, the progression started. I read uh, this incredible article in the NHL.com about your career, and you talked about, uh, you know, some rough time in Indiana, but somehow you said that playing in Columbus was probably your best experience early in your professional career. What made Columbus so special? Well, Columbus was very welcoming for me. Uh, first of all, the Schmelters who owned the club at time, uh, at that, that, that time, introduced me to a lady who worked for WKRO. Is that the the, the black radio station <laughs> yeah and uh, uh, Ann Walker was her name and she kind of introduced me to a few people to make me feel a little more welcome but then I met uh, the McKay family uh, they lived in Bexley they're originally from my hometown in Amherst Nova Scotia and they were just like uh, a surrogate family for me. They kind of adopted me. She had four sons, and I was her fifth son. <laughs> so whenever I was a little bit alone or felt down, I call Mrs. McCain. She say, "Come on over," and I go over for dinner. I bring a couple buddies, Gary Longman or Ray Paquette or or Andre Daou, and it's just like old home. So it was really cool. Yep. A lot of times they talk about a hockey player as being just good people uh, overall and I've met Willie or Ree. I want to think I'm a nice person as well obviously <laughs> but I read about something very special and I want you to tell me a little bit about a small gesture that you made to a young boy at the time called Eric Pettigrew. Yeah. Tell us a little well, bit about this story. Well, this that, is pretty special. Was, you know, that that really caught me off guard because I didn't really appreciate or didn't know about it until about two and a half years ago when uh, a, a, a guy called me, Jeff Baker, who was a sports writer in from Montreal. He moved to Seattle and he was covering the Mariners. And when they got the Kraken franchise, uh, he went up to the editor and he said, hey, I would love to cover the Krakens because I love hockey and uh, it, uh, it's right up my alley. So he got the job of covering the Krakens. So when he was out on one of his uh, 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 public uh, relations jobs, he met a young guy who worked. He was a state parliamentarian uh, in, uh, in in Washington. And he walked out, he said, Jeff, he said, I got to tell you this story of why I, who I am, why, who I am today and why I got here and how I got here. He said, when I was 10 years old, I went to see Elton White play at the sports arena in L.A. I was walking, uh, he was walking out of the dressing room, I yelled his name, and he turned around and acknowledged me, I winked at, winked at me and he said, I went home and told my mom, if Elton can play hockey, I can make something of myself. And he went on to get a college degree. He played football at uh, Oregon State for four years. After that, he, he became uh, a, 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 a surrogate. Uh, he became a, a, an assistant for Norm. I can't remember his last name. He, he was the... the uh, he was the mayor of Seattle. Wow. And a state representative for 20 years. Yeah, but you planted a seed. Yes. And I know you still talk to young hockey players. You did last night. And we're honored to have you back in town. Mr. White, thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. Outstanding. Alton White.